fun thing to do with your bisque molds um, are to make texture slabs. And um, so that's actually what I'm going to do for you right now. And just show you some of the possibilities. So we'll start with a slab. You want to get yourself a nice slab appropriately, um, you know, with the appropriate thickness for the dish that you're using. I'm going to use this simple bisque mold and um, I'll put some texture into my slab. One of the textures that I really like is um, I take an old gift card and I hole punch the end of it and I go all the way across. And so what you have is something like this. So it's sort of a wavy kind of line. And then let's take this slab and um, give it a little squirt of water just so that it has a little bit of a film, like a little bit of a greasy film. And you can take your rib tool, take your new rib tool that you just made, and um, give yourself some nice wavy texture lines. So you have this big, beautiful slab. So I'm going to take this slab and I'm going to use it to make my dish. And things like this look great. And in low fire, they look great with like a nice opaque or mostly opaque thin slip on top of them with a beautiful alkaline glaze on top. It's really, really nice. One of the reasons why I really like working with hump molds is because you have immediate access to the bottom of the dish. So I can build the, build the foot right into the dish right now and then the whole thing dries at the same time. Um, and that's part of why I use the hump mold versus a slump mold where you slump your dish into the mold, into the inside of the mold, and then um, you have to let it dry in order to pull it out and then you still have to deal with the foot and you have to sort of find a way to take that dish and like, you know, place it so you're not going to squish it and attach your foot on it and then it has to dry again. So I always feel like this way I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm drying the dish and I'm drying the foot all at the same time. Now I'm sort of erasing that foot again. Okay, soften this out and you'll, you'll often see me um, just taking my pouncing pad and just going over the very, very edge of this and again it's just because it's sharp um, and I like, the, I like the way this looks when I, when I hit that edge just a little bit and the clay folds over ever so gently. I like that little spot. Um, it also is a visual cue for myself to tell me where to start and stop my Terrace Gelato decoration. So, you know, there's no need to wax or latex or anything like that. It's just like, oh, it's very easy. It starts and stops there. Um, so I like that and I like those little bits and pieces that are sort of left there. And only, I only take them off when it looks like, like this one I'll, I'll take off, when it looks like it, uh, it might chip off later after it's been fired. So I'm going to let this set up now, um, and once it's ready, I'll pop it off for you. So this dish, um, because of how it came off the mold, has a little bit of a line all the way around uh, the interior, about a quarter to a half an inch down. So I've got to take that off, and that is from this part of the mold right here, that sharp line. So it's actually nice because, once again, it. It's given, you know, I have a perfect line to follow.